Most Americans who don't want children know that they don't want children as early as their teen years or even in their early 20s. And guess what? A new study indicates that they don't end up changing their minds later in life. So Michigan State University did this study and the researchers who published it in scientific reports identified child free adults by using data from a representative sample of 1500 adults who completed MSU's state of the state survey. They found that 21.6% of those surveyed or about 1.7 million people did not want children making them child free. Now the study's finding would translate by the way to 50 to 60 million Americans being child free, which isn't surprising, especially when you look at how birth rates have declined in the country. It might have a lot to do with the fact that we live in a country that's not very supportive of individuals who want to establish a family. You know, Having children medically is expensive, caring for children is expensive, childcare is incredibly expensive. And as we all know, sending them to college is also astronomically expensive. And so according to Jennifer Watling Neal, who is one of the co-authors for this study, People, especially women who say they don't want children are often told they'll change their mind. But the study found otherwise. People are making the decision to be child free early in life, most often in their teens and 20s. And it's not just young people claiming they don't want children. Women who decided in their teens to be child free are now on average nearly 40 and still do not have children. And so, I think that this is um, comforting <laughs> for me personally. Val- validating. <laughs> validating, yes, because I've gotten that line a lot, Emma. When I say, nah, I don't think having children is for me. It's, ah, oh, you'll change your mind. Everyone does, and it turns out, no, everyone doesn't. I'm like wondering if I even said something like that to you in a personal conversation. I don't think so. I would have remembered. I don't think so. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, that makes total sense, right? I, I, I can. I want to have kids. I don't have kids now, but I will say that honestly, going through this heat wave right now and seeing the uh, the the massive effects of climate change in you know Europe is also going through an unprecedented heat, unprecedented heat wave as well. It's like the first time where I'm getting legit anxiety. Do I want to rethink this? Do I want to bring children into a world um, where? I don't even know if the planet can be livable. And I still think for me the answer is yes, but I also think that, you know, it makes total sense for whatever for that reason, but for other reasons, that people wouldn't want to procreate in this in this environment. And I think the reason people are like, oh, you'll change your mind is just that is how women have historically been perceived in terms of their value is what value can you bring to the childbearing thing? Uh, how can you produce new life? And that's particularly, I would say, in a society and as patriarchal as the United States, um, oftentimes how women have been able to, I guess, show their individuality because there haven't been other avenues. And so it's hard for people to conceive of that not being an option for for women, uh, particularly in non like cities. I think here in New York, there are a lot of women that are, and in LA, I'd imagine too, Anna, there are a lot of women that are like, no, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, look, this is the way that I think about it. I mean, this study, if you really stop to consider the mindset of individuals who don't wanna have children, the study isn't that surprising, right? Because in order to, declare that you want to be child free, you have to have questioned what the societal norms are. You have to like really think outside of what everyone in society tells you you should do. And you have to really consider whether or not Having children is something that you would enjoy doing, would be good at doing, feel comfortable doing, right? Like you have to go against the grain because having children is still very much the norm. And I think a lot of people just kind of move about, they like to move about the cabin, like they go about the motions, right? They think this is is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to get married, I'm supposed to have kids and they don't really question it. But for those who just loudly declare, I don't wanna have kids, they've questioned it. 
And they've considered the factors. And when you really ask yourself those deep questions and you get to know yourself and who you really are, the likelihood of you changing your mind on that is pretty rare, right? Because all of the issues involving having kids that persuaded me against having kids aren't erased, they still exist. <laughs> and so why would I randomly out of nowhere just like change my mind on that? Yeah, I, I think it's also oddly reminiscent of I think um, the when people talk about kids who are transitioning. Because um, to transition into your new gender is such a difficult thing to do in this society. Every mm-hmm. every gender norm, every person's telling you you're unwell, you're you're mentally off, right? Um, your your parents are abusing you and Jordan Peterson saying that the doctor that they're providing you with care, is, you know, there's this the butcher the, the think again sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not to make oh it about that. You said Jordan Peterson. I immediately thought of that. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you saw. Have you noticed that he's been saying weird stuff like that a lot oh, yeah. lately? He wants his own catchphrase. I'm pretty sure. Like he said, like, Ben Shapiro has a uh, facts over feelings. So he's like, what can I come up with in my little Bond villain cat cave? Think again, <laughs> sunshine. Oh, you got to come up with a better catchphrase than that. It's I just know. so bad. It's yeah. really bad, and it's just he does not have a shred of social awareness. Um, <laughs> I've never seen anybody take themselves more seriously, and we see a lot of people take themselves very seriously. But to be but, fair, he does wear a pinstripe suit, so he's a mm. very serious person. Oh yes, yes, we do live in 1920s prohibition. <laughs> um, <laughs> So that's a normal choice. Um, no, and and so yeah, really, I just think uh, when you put it that way, that's really what it reminded me of is is when people discount that decision. It's like, you no, know, but if you're at at this place, you probably aren't going to regret it because it takes so much for you to get to this this place. Totally. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.